Switching from these old incandescent bulbs to the new LED lights is supposed to save the city $30,000 annually in energy costs. Dr. Wolf says, treat this flu like any other. Stay away from sick people. Use antiviral wipes and of course, wash your hands. Dual language kits, like this one in Spanish, allow children to hear stories in their native language while also being exposed to the story in English. The next week, we'll have a push of bills, including those from Senator Jonathan Harris, co-chair of the Public Health Committee. Next year, JT's new team will join the Big East, and they'll face teams like the 2008 national champions, Syracuse. West Hartford's first day of school was last week, but for many students in the United States, today was the first day, and President Obama wanted to personally welcome them to the new school year. That you'll need an education to do. Many school districts limited the president's access to students, citing concerns of a political message. West Hartford's policy was hands-off. I have not issued a directive one way or the other, whether people should watch it or should not watch it. I've left it up to the, the consideration of the principals and the teachers because I want it to fit into instruction and what's happening in the classroom. Each school decided how or if they would show the speech. Walcott Elementary's principal says there was no question they would show the president live. This is the president of the United States. He's the president of all of us saying he wants to talk to our kids about important ideals. And quite frankly, I think that this is a time when our kids really need to hear these messages. President Obama's address had a personal message about being raised by a single parent. But the focus of his speech was to tell each student, regardless of their circumstances, they must do their best. Wolcott students say they got the gist of the message. Telling us to work hard, even though you fail, it doesn't mean that you're bad. It just means you have to keep on trying. That we should never give up and we should try our best to achieve what we do best in life. And what do they think about those who didn't tune in? Um, I think they should watch it anyway just to see what it's about. The president's recorded noon address will be watched throughout the day as some students were in lunch or other classes during that time. At Walcott Elementary, Anna Stone Street, Local Online News TV. Whether supporting or protesting, crowds gathered outside Town Hall Wednesday were voicing their opinions. Congressman Larson was in West Hartford to discuss health care and explain why he supports the House bill known as H.R. 3200. According to Town Hall officials, the chanting and sign carrying crowd began to gather outside at about 3.30 today. The doors opened at 4.30 to a much quieter crowd, waiting for Congressman Larson to answer their health care questions. Of course, the crowd didn't remain quiet once the forum began. The health care panel was met with cheers, as well as interruptions, to the two-hour meeting. Throughout the evening, we asked concerned constituents what brought them out? I'm an underinsured individual who was diagnosed with Crohn's disease last year. And over the last 18 months, I've accrued $30,000 worth of debt. And I have insurance. Socialized medicine is not the way this country should be going. We need reforms. There's no doubt about it. But you don't have to destroy the whole medical system, the best medical system in the world, to make some reforms. Bringing many questions and head shakes is Congressman Larson's assertion this nearly $1 trillion health care bill will be revenue neutral, starting with savings introduced in the bill. We also have cuts uh, that are going to take place within Medicare, not to the program, but to the administration of Medicare Advantage and some of the bonuses that were given out, et cetera, that uh, are, are, are ludicrous. We're going to cut those out. And so the bill will be paid for. And so when we say revenue neutral, it's not going to cost the taxpayer anything because it's going to be paid for. And if necessary, a tax on the nation's wealthiest 1%. The rally outside continued well past the 7.30 end time, with police asking stragglers to leave. 
Congressman Larson is headed back to Washington next week after a month-long recess. The health care debate will continue. President Obama will address Congress Wednesday night. At Town Hall, Anna Stone Street, localonlinenews.tv.